Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talk. So I want to talk about the fool, the biblical meaning of the fool, as compared to what people assume today. People today, they talk about fooling around or someone playing the fool, acting up, you know, joking around, a jester. But biblically, it's much more serious. In fact, it's so serious that Jesus once said in Matthew 5, 2, 2, Whoever says you fool shall be guilty enough to go into fiery hell. Basically saying that calling someone a fool is condemning them. And that condemning someone is it's not down to you, that is down to God. Which shows you how weighty this term fool is seen in scripture. The term fool is a much more serious term in scripture than in the way it's used today. In scripture, a fool is one who has rebelled against God. A fool in scripture is someone who repeatedly never learns from their mistakes, will never take counsel, believes they are always right. It states in scripture, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. They don't want to take advice. It says the wise in heart will receive commands. But a fool will fall. Fools mock at sin, but among the upright there is favour. So, I mean, we can all we can all be foolish, right? We can all do foolish, stupid things throughout our lives. But the idea is that when you mess up, when you do something foolish, you acknowledge it. And then you learn from that mistake. You learn from your foolish behaviour and you don't do it next time. A fool in the Bible is someone who never learns, who continually makes the same mistakes over and over. It never changes. And they then blame other people or make excuses for their mistakes. Or they go to extreme measures in order to not acknowledge they were at fault and therefore they never learn. And so they continue to cause chaos to their lives and to those around them. I mean, there is always a chink of hope for anybody in any circumstance, always. But if someone has continued like this all through their life, there's little chance of them changing. I've known quite a few people like this and they have never changed. Well, not yet anyway. And yes, you should always love your neighbour, love your fellow man. But we have to beware of the fool because they usually will never change and they can waste a lot of your time. As it says, Proverbs 1320, he that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. So you can only help someone so much. If they just continue to ignore you, then you're going to end up in their folly, tied up with their folly, as it states in Matthew. And whoever shall not receive you or hear your words, shake off the dust off your feet when you depart from that house. I mean, we can see the fool and what is said about them time and time again in scripture. A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. Doing wrong is like a joke to a fool, but wisdom is pleasure to a man of understanding. If a wise man has an argument with a fool, the fool only rages and laughs and there is no quiet. And it also tells you how dangerous it is to be involved with a fool. That is someone who never learns and is in rebellion to God. It states in Proverbs, let a bear robbed of her whelps meet a man rather than a fool in his folly. So it's basically stating it's better to come across an angry bear than be involved in the folly of a fool. I mean, we live in a world where the media is full of fools and indoctrinating us to become fools. Again, in Proverbs, it states, It is an honour for a man to cease from strife, but every fool will be meddling. Social media is flooded with arguments for tit for tat, most of it instigated by an army of fake personas, all encouraging their audiences to become fools. So, like I said, we can do, we can all do foolish things in time, but hopefully you will learn from being foolish and move on. The fool never learns. He never listens. He's too busy speaking over you. They won't take in a new perspective. They will just blow it off. They are bound by the sin of pride. They won't listen and consider what you have to say because that is too much of a threat. They cannot handle the weight of being wrong. As Proverbs 18.2 so clearly says, 
A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. So instead of listening and learning, they're always correcting and controlling. And this is on full display throughout social media, the mainstream and alternative media. And I'm, I'm sure you see it in your individual lives. You may have someone like this as a friend or as a family member, maybe a brother, sister, or you might be married to someone like this. And you need to be careful of these people as they can drag you down and tie you up in their folly. As it says, when pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with the humble is wisdom. The wise person takes genuine pleasure in understanding. He's humble. He's going to listen and learn and acknowledge that he has a lack of knowledge or is weak in a certain department and needs to learn something. The fool does not want to ever acknowledge they are wrong. They are insecure. They tend to be immature and childlike in their decision making. They do not learn quickly, if ever, from their experiences. Hence, they lack wisdom. And then all of this decreases their awareness of God. And so they will lack discernment. And then they make more bad decisions because they refuse to learn or acknowledge being wrong. They will repetitively make poor decisions, even those that ultimately harm them or their partners or family. You know, it's not it's not that they are evil or stupid. They may be brilliant at certain individual things, you know, good at music or great at playing chess or whatever. But overall, they exhibit a continuous pattern of behavior that is of the biblical fool, which is someone who refuses to listen to wisdom or learn from discipline, failing to fear God or respect the rules of reality. And that being so, they repeat their folly, much like a dog returns to its vomit. Right. And if someone is like this, most of the time they will never change. And if you've had to deal with someone like this in your life, you may have tried to help them. You may have attempted on many occasions to steer them down the right pathway, offer them advice. And this could have gone on for months or years. And then eventually somewhere down the road, they come to the realization that they are in a hopeless situation because these people won't ever change. And if you find yourself in that situation, you need to know when to quit, when enough is enough if it's a hopeless case or not, because it's going to be better to not really be part of their world as they will tie you up in their own folly. As it states in Proverbs here, it says, answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. So that's the fool, the biblical meaning of fool. Does this description of a fool remind you of anyone in your life? Does this sound familiar to you? If so, leave a comment. And as always, thank you for listening. Thank you for your support. It's much appreciated. Thank you for your time and your prayers. And I will see you in the next video.
thought were true Now turn around and slander you With the fake stream media All out to deceive you The father of lies Told to keep you on the road That won't lead you back home That you listen